The so-called SOS is an oil sampling service for heavy construction equipment. So we use some tools like this and take on request engine oil, hydraulic oil, transmission oil, whatever the customer requires. It's the idea. If you have an oil in use over the time, it will be contaminated with metal, with sulfur, with sand, because those elements drain into the oil. When using a construction machine like an excavator, you have, for instance, the hydraulic cylinders moving in and out. So the dust is coming into the, mach to, to the hydraulic oil. The same happens with water. When it is raining, the cylinders are moving in and out. It is wet and you, ha and you have water coming into the hydraulic oil. During the use, there is an um, abrasion of chrome, aluminium, steel. And those metals and elements will be collected in the oil. There are filters in the system filtering out the, the dirt, but the very fine particles will remain in the oil. So if you take oil as a sample and send it to a laboratory, the lab can figure out how much sulfur is in, how much water is in, how much fuel is in the oil, if, is there aluminium in, is there chrome in, so elements which should not be in the oil. In which case does it make sense to make an, 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 an oil sampling? The most important thing is you need to know how old the oil is. Because if someone has changed the oil just before you start your oil sampling, you would have no, nothing in that you can measure. It is just new oil. If you have an oil change interval of 500 hours for an engine, for instance, and someone is running engine oil for 1,500 hours and you take a measurement, you take a, you take a sampling, then the values would be wrong either because the oil was far too long in use. So reasonable and is an oil sampling always when you know how long the oil was in use. What can we learn from the oil? The first thing is when you look to the gauge, you will see the condition of the oil. You will see the condition of the oil. Same for the engine oil. You can already visually see if the oil is dirty, if there is water in or other contamination. Finally, when you or your customer decide to take an oil sampling, then sampling kit, something like this. If you have no measurement sockets, you would put your hose to the tank and then just pump the oil from the tank to your, to your bottle, which you seal and send to the lab. In many machines, especially in late models, you have measurement sockets like, like those. You have a little plug that you can plug in here when the machine is running and having pressure. And then you can fill, you can fill your bottle with the oil. Same way, seal it, send it to the lab.